I chose to do my research paper on who is responsible for climate change. I chose this topic because climate change is something that I do feel passionate about and needs to be talked about. Um, the one struggle that I did have with doing my research was finding databases that talked about who was responsible. Um, most of the articles really only talked about, you know, numbers, which helped me out in the end because it did kind of back up my argument. For example, one database that I found said that 50% of the world's carbon emissions has been produced from 10% of the world's population. And that 10% is the rich and large corporations. And alternatively, uh, British charity Oxfam found that the poorest of humanity, which is 3.5 billion people, or half of the people in the world, produce 10% of carbon emissions. Um, it's very clear that wealthy people are doing a whole lot of damage to the earth, and it's very important to realize that, even though, you know, some of our favorite celebrities that we see, like, on social media or any of our favorite actresses, like, we idolize them, but we'll never be able to grasp how much wealth they have and how much damage that they are doing to the earth. Um, excessive amounts of clothes, cars, planes are... I mean, are used or purchased every day, like massive amounts of waste. And even some of our favorite brands that we see on the shelves produce so much waste that we might not see, but there is a lot of damage being done. <clears throat> Another study found that higher and upper, upper middle class countries produce 86% of the world's carbon emissions. And alternatively, the lower income countries produce the remaining 14%. There's a very big argument on whether lower income countries need to cut back on carbon emissions as much as high income countries, but it's important to note the differences of the use of those carbon emissions. Um, for example, lower income countries, they use those carbon emissions to uh, build jobs that support families or infrastructure. Uh, it helps that developing country. On the opposite hand, these upper class countries are using those carbon emissions just to produce more waste or for materialism, you know, just overconsumption. So maybe the lower income countries do need to cut back, but they are this carbon waste is again much smaller only 14 percent and compared to the 86 percent and it is used to support the development of that country and these carbon emissions that come from these higher income countries affect these lower income countries negatively such as like wild wildfires crop devastations uh, heat waves, that's all just the tip of the iceberg, and that is being caused from these high-income countries. So it's very important to be aware of those differences, because even though, again, as stated earlier, we all are responsible for climate change to a certain extent, it's really those who are overspending and overconsuming that are the uh, ones causing the most damage. <clears throat> And one of the biggest arguments um, against fighting climate change is the availability of funds. But for example, um, in the United States, $5.9 trillion was spent on coal and oil. $5.9 trillion, and that was spent in the year 2020 alone. So this money that is being spent can absolutely be spent elsewhere. Uh, that is obviously a very large amount of money to be spending on coal and oil and you know it is easy to understand like we do need these things but it's an overproduction and we have to stop these wealthy people from over consuming so much that it is killing our earth even those who we idolize or those who we see on the news every day we have to take these steps into holding those accountable who are overspending and doing the most damage.